Hello, hi everybody. So good to be back here and film another video. I've done two makeup looks today, so I am definitely feeling ready to uh, have a rest, but it's been so enjoyable because I've come up with two very different looks. The first one was more neutral, whereas this one is more blue tone. Uh, you can always check out my other one because I'll be uploading that as well. I just want to say that I am more impressed with this look than I was with the first one and hopefully you guys think so too. Let me know what you think. Um, but anyway, if you want to see how to create this makeup look, then let's begin. If you want to see how to create this makeup look, then stay here. And let's begin. The box that I've got here, I'm not going to tell you what brand it is. Maybe you can guess what type of brand it is. Surprise. But I am so excited to open this. I knew it was coming and they usually come quite fast. So I never have to really wait too long. Um, but honestly, it feels like one of the best one of the best feelings in the world for me is when I'm opening up a package I know exactly what's in there and it means I have some more products to play with so have you got any guesses as to what this may be you can guess whether it's lipstick blush Highlighter, something to do with eyebrows, eyeshadow, mascara. Mm, have a look. Oh, here it is. Oh, la la. So the brand is Morphe, and I have the Sweet Oasis eyeshadow palette. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to use this, which is the reason I'm unpacking it right now because I am going to be trying these colors on. So if you got any recommendations, let me know. I'd love to hear it from you. Oh my gosh, how beautiful are these shades? Incredibly stunning. Definitely for those of you who love your blues and pink shades, even a couple of neutrals there, and some shimmers so you can definitely do half cut crease looks you can do half cut crease looks you can do eyeshadows that are smoky even and what else do I have oh la la not just one but four four lipsticks woohoo now this may not be so much of an excitement for you because they're all the same color but I absolutely adore this shade by Morphe it's what I consider to be my type of pink shade a little similar to what I'm wearing on my lips but more on the darker side is the shade passionate I'll swatch it on the back of my hand I love these types of lipsticks Ooh. if it zooms out a bit so I will be using that I'm so excited to do this I love makeup looks and new products to try on it's so much fun for me and if you've got any recommendations about colors shades styles textures let me know would love to hear it oh my gosh there's a beautiful white blood butterfly that just flew past the window that to me is good luck I am excited to do this. I know I'm repeating myself, but it's because I'm happy. And when you're happy and you're saying the same thing over and over again, that's actually a really good thing. I'm going to get into this. I wanted to <clears throat> try out the palette and see if I could come up with a cut crease. And so here it is. Truly sorry, but I couldn't help myself from getting into this makeup look and well just trying this palette the Oasis into it and do the other eye Obviously the other eyebrow and the rest of the face. I don't have a lot of time to do this I'm kind of 
time cramped but I don't want to rush you guys either so I will do my best to make it a calm yet enjoyable and fairly quick so now that I've done that eye I want to get on to the other one using my regular concealer okay that would be my husband I gotta get dinner ready and then I've got to also film another video after this so I'm really doing my best to just get this cut crease done but also make it an enjoyable one for you guys because cut creases should not have to be seen as stressful or difficult they're supposed to be things that are creative and I've seen so many Instagram photos and even photos on Facebook of people who've done these cut creases and they do a fabulous job and I know that I've got to get better at my own, you know, doing it by myself and, and seeing how I can improve my cut crease looks. Here is my pressed powder. It's the Starlet Pressed Powder in Natural Beige. That's what I'm going to be using on my eyelid. If that was upside down, I'm so sorry. I just really need to get some powder on my eyelid to set it before I start using any eyeshadows. So you can tell that I was using most of the blue shades in this on, for this look. I know that I'm wearing eyes. I'm going to be wearing something a little bit later. You'll see after I've done this look because I get these things and I tend not to wear them as much as I buy them if that makes sense. So I'm trying to train myself to use what I have. Okay, so first of all, these shades were easy to apply. Like I really enjoyed using the powder. And I'm going to start off with a fairly large fluffy brush here. Got an itchy head. Okay, starting off with the shade <laughs> top corner here, salt water dip. So we're going to start with that. Okay, tapping that into the crease. I love drinking green tea. It's one of my rituals in the morning. And throughout the day, I find that green tea really helps calm me down. It's also, you know, a type of drink that is healthy and good for your system just to cleanse any toxicness out. And look, we don't have toxicness um, in our body naturally, but it could be that, you know, there might be a time where you're eating more fast food than usual or it could be that you just need um, other parts of your body to be cleansed that you can't get to. I don't know, it's um, got some really great results for people who've drunk, drunk, drank green tea. Yeah. You use a shade that is slightly darker. I feel like I'm doing everything backwards at the moment. Right, what about this? I'll just put these brushes in here because they're ones that I'm going to be using as of right now. Okay. We're going to use is a Coastline Cruise, which of course is making me feel like I definitely need to be on a cruise right now. My own cruises. I've only been on one in my life, but I can tell you honestly that it was such an enjoyable trip. I definitely love traveling because, oh, that powder just flew on my face. I love traveling because it gives me a chance to see new places and areas, whether it is to be grateful for where I am now or grateful for when I'm actually going over there to see how people live their lives. Um, and whenever people are talking about traveling, I just get so excited for them because I just know what it feels like for me going overseas or being able to try different foods, meet different people, make new friends. Well, that's kind of the same thing. Um, see the landscapes that people have in that certain area. Um, okay, so I want to now use the shade, which I believe is called Secret Lagoon. It's right next to the Coastline Cruise Shade, and I'm using 
more of an angled brush which will help define the line for where I'm going to be cutting the crease. Now this is interesting because I think this is where I flip out a little bit. I like to place the shadow um, in my crease but closer to the end of the eye first and then I move it onto my lid and make that I guess you could say but obviously I don't want to bring it down I want to lift it up when you have the concealer it makes so much sense cutting the crease and figuring out how to shape this areas that I want to place the other eyeshadow because this is a double cut crease right so I just want to make space where I would add the lower crease. Okay. Okay. I am a true believer that this look gets better with practice. Now that that is over, you can see that it is winged out a fair bit. But what I want to do before I move on is use that previous shade, the beginning one, and just ever so slightly blend above so that it doesn't look really harsh at the top of the crease. I'm just going to place a little bit in the outer corner. I find that closing your eye a little bit might help with this, especially again, you got hooded eyes, this makes sense to you. And then placing a little bit at the beginning of the eyelid, but don't fill in the whole lid because this is going to be like a halo look. I know it's a double cut crease, but you want to have the darker shades on the outside and gradually moving into lighter shades and obviously the brightest in the middle which I'm going to be adding a shimmer. What I want to do is use this shade here which is the Coastline Cruise. I get so excited when I hear that word, cruise. And I'm just placing that further into the middle of the eyelid the shade I'm going to use for the lid itself, I mean only in the middle, so don't get too excited, but it's beautiful and shimmery. It's called Panoramic Shot. Oh my god, this, this palette makes me want to go on holiday. What are you doing to me? I love it. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much. There is always a silver lining with stuff like this. Oh, and even blending it on my hand just to get rid of some of that extra powder. It's just so pretty. I love it. So there we have a double cut crease. Trust me, it makes more sense when you do the brows. So that is what I'll do now. I'm working on it. Let's get in the pan and then blending it outwards like the tail, I'm going to use a darker shade of brown. What's really interesting is before I did this video and filmed, I was watching a YouTube video where it was talking about Scott, who was JLo's um, makeup artist. I guess you could call him like her glow, her glow, makeup artist like he like he gave her the JLo glow if that makes any sense whatsoever that I'm talking about and it was really interesting to see him on Tati's show Tati Tati if I say it wrong this is not me offending her or anybody else it's just I'm I'm Australian so I have a bit of an accent which I didn't actually realize I had so I try my best to say the name right and it may sound and pronounce differently so I would call her Tati, um, 
so she had um, Scott on her show and he was saying that one of the trends he would get rid of is an ombre brow. Now, I don't even know if I'm, I'm doing that myself. Maybe I am without realizing it. He's saying that um, ombre brows are what they call abnormal or what he calls abnormal. And I'm over here going, oh, I guess I'm doing that. But I just find that because my eyebrow doesn't have a tail, and yes, people don't naturally have ombre brows, of course. Um, I don't know, I just, I just think for fun, it's okay. <laughs> I don't know now. Um, so I want to move on. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm back with lashes on. Now I'm going to spray my face. I must admit, just now I had a moment where I wasn't so happy. I accidentally dropped a glass. It was in the fridge and it just wasn't in a place that was stacked properly. My fault. I will take the blame. <laughs> I just feel a little bit bad. I know I can get some more of it. It was basically Parmesan in a jar that we hadn't even labeled. Greg loves Parmesan, so I will get him some more. Um, but yeah, when I'm sure you've had moments where something hasn't been put somewhere properly and then when it's in glass, it's just likely to smash. Moving on, I'm going to spray my face and do my best to feel better. So that was a Morphe setting spray. I know I'm using a lot of Morphe setting sprays, but those are the ones that I have with me at this current moment in time. So I like to use what's in front of me, but I'll definitely get some more sprays and play with those. At least I started dinner because that's going to take a little while. We're going to have a really nice dinner tonight. If you're interested to see that, then I'm going to be uploading another video, which will be uh, focused on my daily vlog and what we had for dinner. So just have a look at that. <sighs> Let me get some mascara on. I don't want to use the previous one. I don't know why, but it was really cl clumpy. And I can't even say the words right because I was just not happy with the clumpiness. Like I still have mascara left over from the last makeup look. And I use micellar water to get rid of, you know, any makeup. And it stayed on, which I believe is supposed to be good because it means it's long wearing. It's just that I get this extra clumpiness that I'm not really a fan of. I should try something different. So I've got this blush. It's a six shade blush palette only. There's no bronzers, no highlighters, blush only. Okay. And I'm going to use this powder brush, which actually says powder and the shade exhale. Because my eye look is already very full on blue. I find that I want a warmer tone on my cheeks. Because blue is like a, what do they call it? A grey tone, a cool tone.
my cupid throw. So I'm going to use one of my new lipsticks from Morphe and it's in the shade Passionate because I just dropped a lipstick and I cannot find it so I'm, I have no idea what happened. I know it's there somewhere, just it's odd that it just disappeared like that. Okay so let's get this lipstick on because I know this will be perfect. What do we think? I love it. I'm obsessed with this. All right, you guys, I'm back with lashes on. Now I'm gonna spray my face. I must admit, just now I had a moment where I wasn't so happy, I accidentally dropped a glass. It was in the fridge and it just wasn't in a place that was stacked properly. My fault, I will take the blame. <laughs> I just feel a little bit bad. I know I can get some more of it, it was basically parmesan in a jar that we hadn't even labelled. Greg loves parmesan, so I will get him some more, um, but yeah, when. I'm sure you've had moments where something hasn't been put somewhere properly and then when it's in glass, it's just likely to smash. Moving on, I'm going to spray my face and do my best to feel better. Alright, so that was a Morphe setting spray. I know I'm using a lot of Morphe setting sprays, but... Those are the ones that I have with me at this current moment in time. So I like to use what's in front of me, but I'll definitely get some more sprays and play with those. At least I started dinner because that's going to take a little while. We're going to have a really nice dinner tonight. If you're interested to see that, then I'm going to be uploading another video, which will be uh, focused on my daily vlog and what we had for dinner. So just have a look at that. All right, this is the final look. Let me know what you think. I do feel like this went a lot better than the last one. to do double cut creases so I plan to do some more in the future let me know if you want to see any other looks or different colors that I can use or even what palettes that I have I can try out for you guys um, I don't really get that disappointed in Morphe I think the only thing I struggled with were some of their brushes but I can talk about that in another video you guys have a great day I will see you soon thank you for watching Thank <laughs> you.